Awamakyam, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakodash. Double honors to the other apostles of Great Millstone who teach them real well. And Shalom to the sincere Akiyam, Spanish truth and sincerity. Shalom. In this video, I want to talk about counsel, you know, which is something that we in this truth, you know, are. Um, exposed to as it often mentions in the scriptures about counsel which are actually you know coming together or you know calling up one another and basically lay down a situation you know that you want to you know have your opinion on from someone else to eventually make the best decision that you can make considering the situation man and oftentimes you know in this life you know we come across these situations which you're basically on this road that you're walking but now you have two or more decisions that you could make and of course you 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 want the best decision out of those decisions that you can make right you know so you want to have someone else's opinion advice you know, or thought upon the matter. And that's also, you know, what the word counsel goes into. If you look it up, it says advice or instruction given, mutual advising or interchange of opinions. It says consultation. It says thought, plan, opinion. It says uh, come with, with, which means with or together. And Kalara uh, to announce. <clears throat> the verb of the word counsel says to give or offer advice, uh, plan opinion, uh, to announce, summon, basically, you know, similar. You know, so. Even at the bottom, you know, it, 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 it shows you that it's a compound word consisting out of two words, which means con and kele, which that's the latter part, cell, count cell, concella, actually. So it says together or with, um, and it says to shout. So basically talk together, you know, having a conversation, you know, with one another about a certain situation. You know, and that's actually what I want to go into in this um, in this scripture, how that it is very important, you know, to do such a thing with a man that is in the truth, man, because if we go to Psalms chapter one, it says uh, Psalms chapter one verse one, blessed is the man that walked not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. You see, so you're actually a blessed individual, you know, if you do not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, which goes into, you know, individuals that are not within this truth, that don't have the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahushai upon them, you know, because, and I'm going to look it up on my other phone, in the, uh, in the, in the Apocrypha, <coughs> it talks about how, um, the counsel of the wicked is not is not counsel, man. Um, yeah, so um, let me let me first read on, man. Let me first read on before I go, because otherwise I might forget the Psalms chapter one. Um, verse 2, but his, his delight is in the law of the Most High, and in his law doth he meditate day and night, which, you know, that goes back to think about the scriptures and to apply them, you know, at the correct way, in the correct manner, you know, to, to apply them in the correct situation. Verse 3, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season, his leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. So, if you meditate upon the law, such commandments of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, upon the Proverbs, you know, the sayings, the dark sayings, you know, 
the laws, you know, and you apply them at the right time and in the right moment, you're going to be a very uh, a prosperous individual because you're going to make the right decisions. You see? Verse 4, the ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind drive it, drive it away. You see? So a man that is standing in the ways of Yahweh Shemim HaShai, he should have a solemn foundation, man. And he's going to always have access to the understanding of the Heavenly Father and making those right decisions so that his tree, the tree is, is, is him, is, is representing himself so that the foundation can grow bigger and eventually the fruit that he is able to bring forth should only increase abundantly, man. You know, but it says that ungodly are not so why because they don't have they don't have the right um, way of how to move in this earth, man. Um, this is um, Sorak nineteen <coughs> and verse twenty-two. Let me also copy paste another scripture but this is rock chapter 19 verse 22 the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom so you might have individuals you know that know a lot about you know wicked shit and how to make money man basically scheme you know and they might be able to obtain certain riches but those riches shall, shall have no foundation man you know because that type of um way of how to make money it's a it's a slippery slope that they're actually treading upon, man. Proverbs chapter one even warns us, you know, not to go into ways which um, um, which which basically says uh, uh, to act upon wicked ways, man. You know, steal from people, things like that, because you're gonna rem you're gonna um, put yourself in in a in a situation. You're basically gonna put yourself in a in a type of life in which you're always going to have to look behind your shoulder, man. You know, so it's not wisdom that you're actually dealing with, you know, if you're dealing in, in wicked ways. You know, reading on, neither at any time the counsel of sinners' prudence. You know? So the counsel of sinners is not necessarily um, wisdom, man. You know, a wise thing to do. You know? Because they don't think about the ways of Yahweh Shemir Hashem, and they don't have the right mindset in, fr in front of them, eh? you know. Therefore, it is very important to um, <coughs> to be surrounded by the by the godly man, like, like it says in, um, in Proverbs chapter one. It's like Psalms chapter one. Blessed is the man that standeth not in the counsel of the ungodly, you know. Then you're a blessed man, you know. But um, I wrote down a couple of scriptures that I want to go into. You know, they all go, you know, into into the council and you know the type of effect that it has, man. You know, because sometimes it's it's very good to, you know, not know what you should be doing, but then you just talk with them with the brother, want to say individual, but with the brother because you know. I didn't want to, because because then you get, get you, then you think about you know a brother, but you don't want to you know put his name there, so you just you know for the for the video's sake you you say individual, but for the brother, you know you just want to have a talk with with him, you know because um, that's sweet man, like it's 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 sweetness that comes forth out of it because you're there meditating about the decisions the situation at hand you know what you should be doing man but then you have the hearty counsel you know the, the good conversation and then hey yeah man hey, you're right man you know i think you know that that is the best thing to do you know you're correct man because even though you yourself you know might already know it but then something is still steering you to the other way but then the brother is able to, you know, through the through the conversation that y'all have, steer you back to no man. This I think this is better for you, man. The way you talk about it, all the options that you gave, you know, that might be the best thing. So, um, 
This is Proverbs chapter 27 and verse 9. It says, ointment and perfume rejoice the heart. Yeah, so actually when you smell these perfumes, you know, you're refreshed, man. You, you're, you're basically uplifted like, hey, you know, it refreshes you. It puts you back in like, hey, what do I smell? Yeah, you know, you're wide awake again, man. It says, so doth the sweetness of a man's friend by a hearty counsel. You know, let me look up the word hearty. It says, um, courageous, spirited, zealous from the heart, loyal, faithful, sagacious, wise. Wise counsel. It says, meaning affording abundant nourishment. You know? So it's going to... Uh, um, it's going to put back the nourishment within you so you're going to be alive again instead of constantly contemplating about the decision that you have to make. Like, if I make this decision, you know, this is going to be the, the consequences. But if I make this decision, I still have the plans, you know, going here, man. You know, a, you know. It also goes into loyal and faithful, man. That's why Scripture even says... Um, Sorak 6 and 6, be in peace with many, nevertheless have but one counselor of a thousand. So it <clears throat> doesn't mean that you should only have one counselor. You know, it means that you should know who you should actually go to, man. You know, for what type of advice, you know. Let me see, I see some other things that might be, you know. So yeah, Sorak 6 and 6, be in peace with many, nevertheless have but one counselor of a thousand, you know. So having that conversation with the right individual, you know, can steer you back in the right direction, you know. That is actually um, <clears throat> what you want, man. You want to make those right decisions. Uh, let me see, what else do I have? Let me go to Proverbs chapter 1. <clears throat> this is uh, Proverbs 1 and 5. A wise man will hear. He will increase learning. You know, this pertains, you know, to um, to the Proverbs of, kings, uh, of King David. Uh, Slakia, of Solomon, the son of David. So, like, yeah, I was reading, you know, the top part. But this is pertaining to the Proverbs, the Proverbs of King Solomon. You know, but also it can be, you know, traced back to, you know, the scriptures, man. The scriptures as a whole. It says, a wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. You know, which goes into um, listening to these counsels, listening to these conversations that you have when you ask questions, for instance, when you present a situation, you know, when you open it all up, you know, and everything is being looked at from these different angles. And eventually the right decision is being made, which, you know, eventually you also agree on to, man. Should attain unto wise counsels. And eventually the point is you should also, you know, um, eventually be persuaded in your own mind, man. You know, that's also very important to eventually also realize why do you make the decision that you're making, you know. If you're making a decision without you realizing why you're actually doing it, then you're never, then you're never standing really behind you know, the decision that you make, you know, that is very, very important, man. You know, if you have to cut off, for instance, a, a woman because she's adulterous, you know, but in your heart you wouldn't want to do it, but you're being advised to do it. You say, yeah, yeah I'm going to do it. And you do it, 
without having to understanding why you know you 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 you're supposed to cut her off then you never stood 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 behind it in the first place man you know you should stand behind it as well understand yeah an adulterous woman you know she's going to do it again she's not loyal she's unfaithful you know she can bring all kind of you know a uh, uh, filthiness with her all kind of diseases stds you know she is a uh, she basically she's 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 a ball of stress man you know to say it like that you know you should you, you should know and understand these things you know that's also what what is going to be brought up in these councils man why why eventually the decision that is made is made or the advice is given why it is given you see <clears throat> a man of understanding attains unto counsels you know he, he listens to his to it and he also puts it into practice because it's eventually the right thing to do <clears throat> this is Sirach chapter 22 you know I, I wrote them all down on my other phone in my notes it says a timber gird and bow together in a building cannot be loosed with shaking so the heart that established by the vice council shall not fear at no time. So, if eventually, um, like I said, you should also be persuaded in your own mind. You should stand behind the decision. Why? Because here it says, a timbered grid and bound together in a building cannot be loose with shaking. So now you have something that is bound very good together. And when, for instance, an earthquake would come or, you know, it would be stirred up. Nothing is going to happen. So, says, so the heart that established, the mind that established by advised, advised counsel shall fear at no time. That individual will not be afraid of the situation that he is approaching because he was, be, he was being established by the sound counsel you know, of his brothers, man, which was inspired through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. You see? And that is very important, man. <clears throat> this is Proverbs chapter 11, verse 14. Where no counsel is, the people fall, but in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. You know, yet again, another a comfort. Where no counsel is, the people fall. So if you have not really thought about the situation, you know, all the ins and outs, ups and downs, positive, negatives has been laid down, thoroughly went through by multiple people with multiple um, angles of insight. Then eventually the venture that you took on, you're going to fall, man. But in the multitude of counselors, there's safety because over every situation has been gone through, man. Right decisions have been made. Things have been written down, you know. So it's very important, man, to have all them, them, them insights, you know, and because oftentimes when you come with, with that, you're invested with emotions, you know, you're going through it yourself. But if you have out, other outside lookers and, you know, they're basically going to play like the devil's advocate, man. But what about this? But what about that? What about this, that, third? You know, they're going to look at it from a different angle and they come with these questions that, that, that might, you know, trigger you in the flesh like, hey, you know... But it's actually the right thing that is happening, man. Certain things are being brought out that need to be tackled. This is Proverbs chapter 15, verse 22. Without counsel, purposes are disappointed, which the purpose is the thing that you want to, you know, initiate. Are disappointed, meaning it will come to a knot. It will not happen. But in the multitude of counselors, they are established. But by having these people that you talk to, you know, these things shall be made come to pass, you know. This is Proverbs chapter 24 and verse 6. For by wise counsel thou shalt make, make that war, and in multitude of counselors there is safety. Yet again, the safety is being present. But it says, For by wise counsel thou shalt make thy war. 
meaning you're going to initiate in this case it is a war which is something that costs the life of many you know if done wrong you know by wise counsel thou shalt make that war and a multitude of counselors there saved that's where all these kings back in the days had these uh, generals man advising them on how to approach the battle approach the war and then the king would only have to give the okay sign and then you know that plan would be uh, initiated you know it says um Proverbs chapter 24, verse 3. Through wisdom is a house built, and by understanding it is established. You know, and if we and if we now use this this building as for instance um, a business, you know, or an idea, you know, these things can only be obtained with the wisdom, you know, and understanding. But it needs to come from on high, man. You know, a, a man that is inspired, inspired by Yahweh Bashem Yashai, you know, to, to really look at these situations diligently and to make the right decision. <clears throat> um, verse 5, a wise man is strong, yea, a man of knowledge increases its strength. Yeah, because he, know, he knows how to uh, basically give the right advice. You know, speak the right encouragement because you need to understand that the words that are being spoken can either uplift a man or bring him down you know so a wise man is strong yeah he know he knows what to say in the right in the right moment and he is able to strengthen you know other individuals as well you know and it doesn't necessarily mean that he is um is strong in the flesh like physical strength, but he is he is strong in the mind, you know. His strength is uh, is coming from um, from mental fortitude, and from the wisdom that he has, you know. Why? Because he he knows about the sayings of Yahweh Shem Yashai, you know. He has experience, you see. So yeah. You know, the, the things that we, you know, plan on doing, the things that we are initiating, you know, you should always, you know, talk with, you know, one or two people, man, you know, men that have been in the field, you know, uh, or basically that have, uh, that are going through a situation like you are, or that have already been there, you know, just listen to what they have to say, you know, and then... You know, also lay that down to the brothers, like this is the experience that I have heard from someone else. You know, what do you think about it? You know, that's how these, these councils are established, man. You know, that's how the right decisions are being made. You know, if you want to, I gave the example as well, you know, in my in my previous video of today. How, um, you know, you, you might want to get your driver license because of... You want to get a job or something that requires you to have a driver license, but hey, do you have the money yourself? You know, or or is the company that you're um, willing to work for are they willing to provide you, you know, with the with a driver license? And if they do so, you know, how long do you have to work there to basically pay it off, or you know, do you have to pay back if you decide to leave? You know, all them things, man, needs to be um, needs to be loud and clear. You know. So yeah, you know, like scripture says, man, do nothing without advice, you know. So with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. And Shalom to the sincere Akyam, who his truth and sincerity. Shalom.